Paul Scholes, though, settling himself in, back in this part of the world. Paul, coming back to your hometown club, we just spoke to you at the press conference. You said how exciting it was to be here. What sort of a challenge have you got here? A difficult challenge, obviously. It's been a place that you know, they haven't had much success over the last 20, 30 years, whatever it may be. But, you know, I've, I've prepared well for this, I, I think. Um, I've now watched a lot of games. I think there's some, some really good players. I think it's a team that can play attacking, exciting football, and that's... That's the main reason why I've come here. I think they're a team that are capable of winning a lot of games, so hopefully we can prove it. Was it always an aspiration to come back to your boyhood club, potentially to start your managerial career here? It was something that was obviously, uh, I'd obviously thought about. You know, the, the, the opportunity has probably arisen two or three times in the last five and a half years, but I, I've never really felt totally ready till now. Um, we'll probably see in the next few weeks whether I am ready. Um, but like I say, it, it excites me and I think there's a, there's a team that are capable of winning a lot of games in this league. What's the chairman said to you about the project, about what he expects? He just wants the same for me, he wants to bring some excitement, some success back to the club, back to the town, um, which is what we all want. We know, you know the crowds aren't what they used to be here now and obviously that comes with, with League 2 football, but you know, if we can start playing some attacking football, some entertaining football, hopefully we get a, a few more in and, and the town can get right behind us. You mentioned that you've come and seen the team, obviously taking training for the first time today, getting to know the squad. How long a process do you feel that will be? To be honest, I, I don't think it'll take long. Like I say, I, I've watched a load of games. Um, I feel like I know the players quite well already. Um, obviously, got a good feel of it. Um, this morning, it confirmed what I thought from, from watching them, that there's, there's a really good group, group of players. Their attitude this morning w w was fantastic. And if they you know, have that attitude in games, and I'm sure they'll win a lot of them. You've been quite highly quoted or well quoted as a pundit, haven't you? Are you prepared for the other side of the fence now and having maybe former Oldham players uh, taking their shots at you? No, uh, I, I'm a prepared. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I, I never really understood why managers and and players took pundits' comments, not, not seriously, but never really got offended by them. That's a job that I did. That's a job that people do and probably a job that I, I, I'll still do. If anybody wants to have a pop at me, no, I, I'm not bothered. The only people that matter to me now are my staff, you now the owner of the club and obviously the fans. We've seen lots of your former class of 92 teammates get involved in either management or coaching. Gary Neville's the one, by his own admission, didn't quite work out for him at Valencia. He's not got back into it since. Do you have, did you have any reservations about going down this road and putting yourself up in the, in the firing line, I suppose? I'll tell you in six weeks, I suppose. <laughs> um, uh, look, Gary did well. Gary took a really difficult job on in Valencia. It's very brave to do that. And you know, his, his record's not as bad as, uh, as people think. Obviously, great experience with England as well. Um, and like I say, he, he's there for a sounding board for me. He's just a person I speak to all the time anyway. So if I ever need any advice, I'm sure he'll share his experiences with me. And how important are you as a group in that kind of sounding board process in running ideas past each other? We don't do it that often, I suppose. Um, you know, obviously we, we, we've got different jobs, possibly might more happen now with, with me you know, being week in, week out on the training field through the week as well. I'll, I'll need to bounce ideas off, off Phil, Gary, Ryan and, and Nicky especially and you know, I, I will take their advice on board, I, I trust them totally so I'm sure they want me to do well and you know, as equally as I want them to do well as well. On again, to Solskjaer, I've spoken quite openly about the fact he's got a hotline to Sir Alex. Have you spoken to him before taking this job yet? Do you plan to speak to him if not? Um, I haven't done yet. And if, if things, you know, like I said, I'm going to need advice. I'm going to need help along the way. I've brought you know, staff in to, to, to make sure I do that. But it's great to have a, you know, one of the best or the best manager the world has ever seen on the Anvil phone. And I'm sure you know, when I need to speak to him, he'll be available for me to speak to him. And just finally, you're thrown straight into it, obviously, with training today and a game tomorrow night. How bigger challenge is that to prepare for just 24 hours in? Uh, do you know what? I've had a couple of weeks to prepare for it really. I had a feeling that this, this could be my first game. I've watched a lot of Yeovil. Um, I've watched a lot of us, obviously, more importantly. Um, we'll soon see tomorrow night if I've prepared the right way. If I've, if I, if I've got the team ready to, to win a game tomorrow, I think I have. But we won't know until the, till the game's actually played and hopefully we, we, we can win the game. Well, look, Paul, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us again live on Sky Sports News. Paul Scholes with us. We heard from him earlier on about the challenge here at Oldham in management for the first time. And as we brought you the news earlier, signing that one and a half year contract here as manager.